Right now, the search is on for the driver of a deadly hit and run. It happened on the city's west side. Some neighbors say the area's intersection is very dangerous. This is new information we have on a story that we brought you as breaking news last night. A man killed in a hit and run crash on Jacksonville's west side. This is the first hit and run case of the year. It happened on Normandy Boulevard at LeBrun Drive tonight. We're learning more about him and also taking a look back at last year's hit and run cases. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Spicer is joining us from the intersection. Ashley, what are we learning about this area? Well, I spoke with a woman who lives right here at the corner where the crash happened. She says she's not surprised that this happened because the intersection is so busy. 29 year old Charles Raybuck was hit and killed while crossing Normandy Boulevard. The driver took off after the crash. He's not from our area, but I spoke with a high school friend who describes Raybuck as having a kind soul. Kathy Milk has lived on the corner of Normandy Boulevard and LeBrun Drive for two decades and says the intersection needs to be more pedestrian friendly. I think there needs to be a crosswalk, either put in a train or a caution light, something because it's been like that. We've been here 21 years and it has always been bad. I mean, dogs have gotten hit, people have gotten hit, cars right all the time. Milk admits that even she darts to and from her side of Normandy Boulevard to the other side to get to her doctor's office. This neighborhood, over half this neighborhood actually walks and they'll walk out there and stuff and I've seen them run across. It's kind of hard and there are cars that don't have the lights on at night. Sergeant Dylan Bryan with the Florida Highway Patrol says in this case, Ray Buck was not in the crosswalk, but because the driver left the scene, it's now a criminal violation on the driver's part. Not only as a traffic safety expert, um, law enforcement professional, a father, husband, uh, it, it frustrates me as well um, because this, these are someone's loved ones. Um, you know, they're family members that uh, could have been saved if they stopped, if it's been a severe traffic crash um, or something as simple as a minor traffic crash. Although there were more than 150 hit and run crashes in Jacksonville in 2018, our data shows seven of them were fatal and there have been no arrests in those cases. In 2017, there were 14 hit and run crashes that were fatal with four arrests. And Sergeant Dylan Bryan also says that there have been tips about this crash, but right now they don't want to release any information that potentially hurt the case. If you know anything, you are urged to call FHP or Crime Stoppers. Right now, again, we cannot release any vehicle information, but as soon as we get that, we will pass that along to you. I'm live, Ashley Spicer, Channel 4, the local station. So, Ashley, what if someone thinks that a crosswalk is needed near their home or where they work? Is there anything that they can do? That's a great question. So what you can do, you can write your city commissioners, you can write the mayor, something that I covered recently actually in an Avondale neighborhood. Residents got together, they got a petition, got enough signatures, and now there is going to be a crosswalk where they wanted it to be. So power in numbers for sure. Jennifer's Ashley Spicer, thank you from the west side.